Welcome or welcome back everybody. So today we are going to look at the Caveco Sport Collection fountain pen in iridescent pearl. Now this fountain pen is super interesting and even the box is kind of pretty. You can't really see it on camera but that does have some iridescence to it. Those little swirls, they just kind of look clear on camera but there is a little teeny bit of sort of rainbowy color. And here is the pen. It's so pretty. So this is a Caveco Sport. It's a pocket pen, so it's really small. Uh, and this is part of the Caveco collection. So they have their normal range of Sport Skyline pens and classic pens, and then they have these collection pens, which I am not sure if they're maybe a short run of these, like they won't last forever, I don't think. So that's why they're kind of more precious and they tend to be a couple of dollars more expensive. So I think they run around sort of the $27 mark compared to the normal sport, which are around 25, depending where you get them, of course. So I asked for this for my Mother's Day present and I'm just getting to opening it now and you can see that it is really beautiful. It's super interesting colors. It changes with the light. It comes with a little blue cartridge there that you saw me uh, passionlessly shove off the table. <laughs> and we're going to try out some new inks today to fill it up. So I grabbed a couple of samples that I thought might go well with this uh, pen because I kind of like to match my pen with the ink and mainly the reason is because I forget what ink I've, I've used and I do keep an ink diary. Uh, but it's nice just to be able to think, okay, this ink inside here is either going to complement it or it's going to be similar to what the pen color is. So I just find it easier to match them up. So here we have a collection of Pannonia inks. And so these are really interesting, actually. They are multi-shading inks or sort of multi-chromatic. And so as they dry, you can see these changing colors. So all of these have that beautiful sort of shift from the initial color into a bunch of other colors. So I thought one of these chromo shading inks from Pannonia would be a great choice for this pen because the iridescent pen is always sort of morphing from one color to another or you have several colors at once. It just seemed like a cool choice to ink it up for the first time with one of these guys. So here they all are swatched out and I think any of them would be a good match but I think I'm going to go with the Panona Orgona Lilac because this purple is just so pretty and I feel like the pen has a little more purple in it than any of the other colors. So here I am taking apart the pen and I'm going to fill it up and I like to use uh, either a cartridge or a converter with this pen. I don't like to eye drop it just because I don't really use a lot of the same color at the same time. I really like to switch my colors around. So this tiny little converter here, although it is very small and a lot of people would complain that it doesn't hold enough ink, it's perfect for me because I switch and swap all the time. And I like to fill it up using a syringe. You can attach the converter to the section and pull it through the nib, but I feel like it gets a lot of ink on the section and I don't like that, especially with lighter colored pens. Uh, so I tend to just use the cartridge and fill it up and then I'll prime it a little bit by pressing it. And so that will push some of the ink into the nib and that just makes it uh, flow faster when you're gonna start writing. Now I'm just going to put it all back together and I'm going to leave it upside down just for a little bit to let gravity do its work and pull the ink into the section and nib. So we're back and the ink is 
flowing well out of this pen. I think I forgot to mention that it is actually a broad nib on this Caveco Sport. And the paper that we're writing on is the Kukuyu Campus Sarasara. And this is a beautiful paper to work with. It really shows shading really well. So it's perfect for these Pannonia inks. As you can see, the ink is super light. Uh, I think it's even showing up a little darker on camera than it is in real life. It's very pale, but the shading is just crazy on this. It's so beautiful. So I'm not sure that it would be a good everyday writer or journal writing, but as an accent color for something or for doing beautiful little subtle sketches, I think it would be really lovely. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. It is super light. It's kind of like the some of the sailor inks that just look amazing when swatched out, especially with a glass nib because it lays down a lot of ink. But then when you write with it in a fountain pen, depending on the flow of the pen and the nib size, it really is kind of hard to read. So I thought I would just show you an example of my other two Caveco sports here. They're both medium nibs and they write very similar to each other. It does depend on the ink and how wet it is, whether you get a thicker line or not, but you can see that this bold is much thicker than the medium. So just if you're interested in getting one of these different nibs, uh, that's what the medium looks like and that's what the bold looks like. As far as the writing experience with the bold or the broad nib compared to the medium, it was a little smoother. I did actually have to use a little bit of micro mesh just to smooth it out a little more. It was catching on the side a little bit, but after I did that, I feel like it writes a little smoother than the medium nibs, but I love them both and I would actually really like to try a double bold. So that will probably be my next uh, purchase or gift request. <laughs> but yeah, they're both really nice. Caveco nibs straight out of the box are normally pretty good. You might have to do a little bit of micro micro-meshing just to smooth it out, but they're pretty reliable nibs. So here's a final shot of the pen and the Orgona Lilac ink. I think it looks totally beautiful. It matches it really well and I'm excited to use it. Thanks for joining me guys and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!